What's up guys? Good morning. Four in the morning. You know how it goes. We got so much to talk about today. Yesterday we closed green on Mullen stock. And if you saw my video yesterday morning, I was talking about a doji candle and it looked like a reversal candle. And so far it's starting to be true. Today we're gonna to be talking about is a short squeeze even possible? These are what some people think about it. How many shares are available to short? And just overall what's going on with Mullen company. Don't forget to drop a like before I get started. Think about subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. We're at 4,500 subscribers. I appreciate you all for following the journey. And of course, don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. So on a positive note, even though Molenstock has been, been getting completely trashed, we closed yesterday at $1.50, up 2% on the day, but you can see after hours we're up almost 5%, being $1.57 now. So again, this is positive news. I've always told people, I made videos since November of 2022. If you wanna get out of Mullen stock, if you cannot handle what's been going on, and I totally understand if you can't handle it because it's been a wild roller coaster, you wanna to start to sell some shares on these green days and slowly get out of your position, right? You never wanna sell on a red day because most stocks tend to retrace back to certain areas. If you're part of the Patreon, you know we go over all of this with Fibonacci, support and resistance. Of course, if you wanna join the team, links down below, $7 a month but you wanna to start to sell on green days because this will one, make you feel better because if the stock goes back down, you could buy back in and increase your share count. And two, you're doing the right thing because most stocks tend to retrace and we know Mullen moves very fast and it's not gonna stay red forever, right? Of course guys, nothing I say is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, just give me my honest opinion and kind of how I look at things. So as we're looking at how many shares are available to short basically, you can see the latest number was 10,000 and this was yesterday. It looks like, yeah, the, la the, last, up the last updated time frame they had right here, you can see, but 10,000 shares available to short. So this is nothing right i mean before obviously before the reverse stock split there was millions available but now the millions is more like four hundred fifty thousand. that's kind of a lot of shares available to short now because of the reverse stock split but ten thousand being nothing this is getting very interesting for maybe the cost of borrow goes up even higher next week maybe there's zero shares left and a short squeeze could happen Another thing you guys wanna be aware of, again, I don't know how accurate this is because before when they've announced earnings, it wasn't on that date, but there's a website that is stating that Molin Automotive Inc. is set to release earnings on May 9th, 2023. Today's the 6th, so that would be about Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. Seven, eight, nine, Tuesday. So it'd be Tuesday of next week, Mullen's gonna have earnings. Now this is gonna be very interesting because a lot of deals have been happening, right? So is that gonna be on their earnings? This is gonna help the stock price move up in my opinion. We are trading at all time lows right now. So for me, I would not be selling in these areas. I definitely have other price targets that I will be collecting some profit on um, and buying back in at lower, lower areas when it comes to Mullen stock. But that's just how I do it, right? But again, what do you guys think is gonna happen from this earnings? Do you think it's gonna be a positive thing for Mullen or a negative thing? Because we've seen a lot of other companies, when earnings come out, sometimes it can be positive, but the stock price still moves down. Sometimes it can be negative and the stock price moves up. So it's very hard to play earnings and try to understand exactly what's gonna happen. I say stick with your convictions, stick with your beliefs, and only invest in stocks that you absolutely believe will be successful in the future. Of course, revenue is good, the amount of cash companies have is good like the amount of debt analyzing all that stuff is really good and you know I do a lot of that with like Palantir that's another company that I'm big on and also DraftKings which I'll talk about in a minute but again you got to analyze what's going to happen on the 9th is this a good thing or a bad thing and should I be holding or should I be selling and maybe buy back in if it does drop down now I just thought this was pretty funny you know investor place is Mullen's great, Mullen's bad, time to sell, time to buy. Now they're saying there are no Mullen stock shares available to short, a Mullen squeeze could actually be happening. So maybe this is true, you know, by Samuel O'Brien. It says a popular meme stock could be headed for short squeeze territory. So Mullen is not a meme stock. I don't know why people are saying that. I don't think it's a meme stock. Maybe it's falling into that category nowadays, but I, I don't think that's relevant at all. But they do say Molin Automotive currently has no shares available to short according to Fintel, so that's a pretty good sign. On top of that, it may not only be the only squeeze brewing right now. So Fintel shows that since this morning, which was Friday yesterday, 
Uh, there have been zero shares of Molin stock available to short one hour before there had only been roughly 900 9, shares or 9,000. I don't know why they have a comma there. Investor voice, you gotta, you gotta check yourself, man. The company boasts a short interest flow percentage of just under 10% and 0.48 days to cover for shorts, okay? So that's pretty good. They gotta cover soon. There's a huge amount of shares that have been shorted. So again, tell me what you think down below. I will be making a video later today of the charts and really some price targets that I think could happen if a squeeze does become a reality. We, we know that we do need more sufficient news. We've been getting good news from Molin, $63 million deal. They've been updating us about production starting very soon. They have a lot of parties interested in their vehicles. They have all this, this is new technology with Lawrence, which Lawrence says is gonna be huge for the next Tesla. Like no other companies will be able to keep up with Molin company. So it's gonna get very interesting in the next couple of weeks. We also gotta stay over a dollar. We have about eight trading days left. So there's a lot of things on the table that you wanna look at while holding this stock or even buying or selling this stock. But thanks for waking up with me this morning. Hope you enjoyed your cup of coffee. I'm gonna have more later today. I'll come back with another video. I know I've been kind of slow the last couple of days. I've only been making one video a day. Business has been crazy, but we'll get back to it. Enjoy your day. Have a good one.